Hi everyone. Today we're going to be looking at um, a lab dealing with diffusion and osmolarity. The first experiment we're going to do deals with finding out the osmolarity of a potato, which basically is the same as asking um, what is the concentration of stuff inside the cells of these potatoes. Okay, so we're going to do this by incubating these potatoes in different solutions of sucrose. Okay, and so by looking at the changes in these potatoes over time, we will be able to figure out the concentration inside here. Okay, so we have a different set of so uh, a solution. We if I have a bunch of different solutions here. We have zero molar sucrose or just pure water. We have zero point one molar sucrose. 0.2 molar sucrose, 0.3, 0 0.4 molar, 0.5 molar, and 0.6. Now, this one here, pure water, obviously is going to be a hypotonic solution compared to what's inside these potatoes because pure water has no solutes in it, right? So no matter what you put into this water, the water is always going to be hypotonic. So one of the potato pieces is going to go into the water now we have a whole range here, and so at the end of this range we have 0.1 molar sucrose solution, which is a fairly high concentration. Sorry, 0.6 molar solution. We'll edit that out, right? No, we won't do any editing. So 0.6 molar solution is a fairly high concentration, and so when you put that potato into this, the solution in here is going to be hypertonic, so it's going to be much more concentrated than it is inside the potato cell. Okay? So we have a wide range, and so somewhere in between 0 molar and 0.6 molar is a solution that would be isotonic to these cells. And so it is that solution that will tell us what is the concentration of stuff or solutes inside of these cells. Okay, so what we have here are a bunch of these potato cores that we're going to first weigh. And so I'm going to turn on the balance. Uh, my lovely assistant spoke to turn on the balance. Okay, it's working. So give it a moment. Okay, so first piece of potato, really exciting stuff here, is 15.9 grams. So I'm going to write that down as my initial weight, 15.9 grams. Okay. And so I'm going to place that into the first bottle. So that's going to go into bottle number one, my deionized water. Just drop it in there and leave it alone. Now let's take that potato number two, is 17. 0 grams and we'll place that into the second bottle so always keep track of these things don't mix them up don't just weigh them and just leave them on a piece of paper or something just weigh them and put them directly into the bottles so 15.4 grams yeah. now you'll notice that all of these are different sizes and different weights and so we will adjust for that with our calculations later on. Okay, so 16.2 grams goes into 0.3 molar. And 14.4 grams goes into 0 0.4 molar. is 14.6 grams. Okay. And so now we wait. 